Hey y'all, it's me. Definitely not 11 o'clock at night. And I'm definitely not filming this video last minute. I am. And also these are real glasses. These are my blue light glasses because I keep care of my eyes. Also my sister's right here so she's going to be occasionally judging me. So today I'm going to be filming a little bit of a December 3DR because I only read like a one book during November. I don't even know what I was doing half of November. I just wasn't reading. So I have four books for my TBR. So I'm going to go through them today and I'm going to talk about why I want to read them. Okay. So the first book is The Summer of Broken Dreams. I actually have started reading this and I've hit like the middle mark kind of. And I'm really excited to read the rest. But like I... <coughs> And, but like, I'm kind of not that motivated to read it. But I feel like I will finish it, because it is a fun book. But, in the middle, uh, after like the important part, it's kind of boring for a while. So, I will finish this in December though. And I really love this book. And, yeah. It's the Summer of Broken Rules by Kayla Walker. I read her other book called, um... Meet me, at, meet me at midnight and I loved that book because it had so many Taylor Swift references and <laughs> there was like one reference each page and I loved it. So the next book is The Wicked King by Holly Black. This is the second book in the Folk of the Earth series. Um, I actually started reading this a bit. I got to page 33 because I was, I was originally reading um beach read but then i left the book in my in the car so i had to and i wanted to read something but i didn't have the book i was currently reading so i started on this and it's quite interesting the i loved the first book i gave it a five i gave it five stars and i'm really excited for the next two books i have I've already bought The Queen of Nothing and I realised The Queen of Nothing is a very short book. It's like, it's shorter than The Wicked King and The Fool Prince. The next book, um, I'm really excited to read also, it's Dial A for Aunties. And at first, I'm actually not sure whether this is a rom-com or this is a murder mystery. Because it says Dial A for aunties, they'd kill to see you happy. And there's like, it's like a red form to kill. So I think it's like a funny rom-com with also a side of murder by Jessie Sutanto. Hopefully I didn't butch her name. And what's very cool about this is she she grew up in Indonesia and Singapore. And Singapore is the country I live in. And I read that, I was like, cool. And this book is quite, it's not that long. It's 24 pages, wait, no. Actual book, it's 337, but like, you know, the author's not an acknowledgement of the there's some other pages. And I'm really excited to read this, because one of my favorite booktubers gave it a five stars, but she said the second book in the series wasn't as good. So, I also wanted the other co cover, because I like the other cover more. This one just isn't giving vibes. And now, the last book. I'm probably going to read more, but I'm not sure. I already know I'm going to love this book. The Brothers Hawthorne. I, I love The Inheritance Games. It's my favourite series of all time. My favourite book was probably the second book in the series. And, oh my god, I love Jameson and Avery. I, I just love the whole setting of the place. I love like all the mysteries. I love I personally love the mysteries in the second book. And in the third book, it was just mind interesting. I was like mind blown half the time. Then it's different POVs. So some of the chapters is Jameson and some of the chapters is Grayson. And I'm not sure if any of the chaps, chapters are Avery. I think it's only Jameson and Grayson, which is quite cool because the Inheritance Games series we only got 
Avery's perspective. I think the kind of eggs read is a bit long. It's a bit longer than other books. The other books are about 350 pages and these, this is like 100 pages more. And it's very heavy. Nothing more hot on than winning. I agree with that. There's another book. I thought this was just a secret. No, there's more books. The grandest game. Expensive. So expensive. It was twenty-two dollars. For what? I have four books I want to complete in the month of in the month of December. Oh, there's another like, team going on. It's black, pink, black, pink. I think the Wicked King isn't black. It's a very dark shade of blue. I'm so excited to read these books, and I'll see you tomorrow.